Okay guys, we have found our perfect campsite. It is about two o'clock on day two. Um, we found a spot where we're gonna spend the next, uh, <clears throat> the next five days. Um, we've just uh, walked up the trail or we've got a latrine up that way, up on top of the hill. Um, here's a tent pad. Um, I think there's probably some more tent pads down here to the right. Um, but when we saw this place uh, coming up from the water, we got pretty excited. We've got a huge uh, fireplace. We should move the canoe over here, by the way. And uh, plenty of places to hang our hammocks. And down here, we've got a sandy beach. And we're on uh, a pretty good size island. This is the only campsite on this island, so we'll be pretty secluded. So now we're going to unload the canoe, fix lunch, and then set up the campsite, and then relax for a couple of days. Sorry, there's probably a little bit of wind noise. Uh, the wind just picked up a little bit. It looks like it might rain in a few minutes, but uh, I can't tell you enough how excited Greg and I are to find this spot. It's exactly what we had in our minds uh, when we were planning this trip, find a spot like this. It's beautiful here. Um, we're on the north side of the island, and uh, we should have a good view of the uh, northern lights if they come out tomorrow. Um, there's our, our fire pit where we'll do our cooking and hanging out and uh, I found an awesome spot for my hammock it's just down this trail um, maybe a hundred feet the trees open up and uh, at night, I should have a good view of the northern lights if they, if we can see them tonight or if it's not cloudy. Um, but I'm going to set up between these two trees. And then Greg's got a spot um, just right over there, about 30, 40 feet that way. Um, somebody's already, already built a little fire pit in front of his, his spot that he's got picked out. So he'll be able to hang his, uh, his hammock, a mock hammock and uh, sit and look at the lake, relax, and I'll be able to lay in my hammock, open up the bug net, and have a, have a great view. We're gonna get a bite to eat and then start setting up.
pretty much set up. This is how how it's going to be for the next uh, four days, five days, um, unless uh, something catastrophic happens. But this is going to be home. Um, I've got a beautiful view of the lake and the little island right there. Um, if the clouds ever break, uh, we might be able to see the uh, northern lights again tonight. We were able to see some last night. Um, it was pretty neat. It really wasn't uh, much more than just uh, a white glow uh, coming up into the sky, almost like uh, like just a whole row of spotlights. It was just a white white light coming up, um, straight up. Um, maybe if uh, we could get a break in the weather, we'll get to see something a little bit more tonight or uh, later this week, and hopefully I can get it on camera. Um, I can't say again how awesome this campsite is. Look, to be honest, the place that we were in last night was, it was terrible compared to this, but it was worth it to get here. Uh, this, is, uh, this is almost paradise. Um, there's no cell service. All we, can, all we have to do is just hang out and fish and uh, sit by the campfire and uh, <clears throat> explore the island. We'll uh, explore the island. There's trails all over. Um, the island's not real big. Uh, it might take up four or five acres, um, maybe a little bit bigger than that, but it's, uh, um, it's real dense. Uh, and there's some, there's some great views up on top. Greg actually thought uh, he was going to camp on top of the island when we got up there and he carried his stuff up there and after thinking about it uh, We were getting threatened with rain and and the way the wind was blowing up there He changed his mind and came back down here, but this spot that he's got it is is great. He's right on the um, Right on the beach. He's um, I am too, uh, but he's just a few feet closer than and right in front of his His uh, hammock there is a, a fire pit that someone had built uh, before but uh, really looking forward to the next couple of days, just being able to hang out. Hey guys, we're at the end of day two. It's about seven o'clock. Um, since I last checked in, uh, we got all of our tent site set up, our hammock site set up, and uh, we walked all the way around the perimeter of the island. Uh, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was at first. Um, tomorrow we'll, we'll take the camera and, and go through some of the trails. Um, Saw some interesting tracks, uh, and then after we got back, we took a break for a few minutes. I filtered some water, and uh, and then we took our fishing poles to the uh, over here to a little um, isthmus that connects to the island next to us, and um, tried to catch some fish. Uh, I got one bite, uh, a little tiny pike, but now um, we're going to cook dinner and probably tuck in a little early tonight. Um, it seems to be getting dark a lot earlier uh, than it did the last couple of nights. It's only 7 o'clock and it, um, with the cloud cover it's getting really dark fast. So we're going to eat quickly and, uh, and go tuck into our hammocks. Um, we'll check in in the morning. Mm -hmm. 